What's up, everybody? It's the homie True Teller, the street reporter. It's Chief Cleef Influential. Is he impactful globally? Charlemagne the God said no. He don't really believe that. And I think it's something wrong with Charlemagne the God on this one. I totally agree. I totally disagree with this one. You know how some people have their own opinion. That's one cool thing about, you know, people having opinions is it's your own opinion. But I don't agree with that one. I think Chief Keith Impact has felt real strong. I just think everybody copied him and mimicked him. You didn't get a chance to miss him because everything sounded like him. Before Chief Keith, the music industry was way different. I think the whole music industry is affected by that effect the chief keep head on the music industry think about it you know the drill music that's the sound of everybody now i don't think you really even had a little dirks right now i think if the limelight wasn't on sosa it wouldn't got a chance to get on little dirk i think if chief keith didn't bring the limelight to old block the whole world probably wouldn't be so concerned about King Von. Don't get me wrong. I think those guys were talented on their own. But I think Chief Keith brought extra eyeballs to the movement. Before Chief Keith, people needed a half a million dollars to shoot a music video. You know, budgets from that shit was a lot of money. Hype Williams, Jesse Tatera, and shit like that. They was charging damn near half a ticket for a music video. Chief Keith was one of the guys who realized to get a homie from the hood who got a video camera. He just records you and y'all get busy. You know, Chief Keith changed the way people do things. He put a lot of people out of business, you know. No run and gun video shoots became famous because of what Chief Keith brought to the game. Another thing Chief Keith did was he made famous producers. A lot of guys got famous off this shit, like Young Chop, Leaky Leak, uh, and a few more other guys. The videographers from Chicago became famous. Guys, you know, uh, names is like synonymous with the drill coach and shit like that. So I think he wrong on that. I think Chief Keith had a big impact on the culture. Um, I just think it's certain things that he didn't do to kind of get himself bigger to the point where I think he should be. Because I do think Chief Keith should be as big as Drake. Big as Jay-Z, in my opinion. His influence on the young people has felt drastically. Everybody look at him as like an OG, but this guy is young himself. You know, I think him leaving Chicago was a smart idea for him. I always say this. Imagine if Chief Keep still lived in that apartment in the O. Shit probably would be dangerous for this guy. He'll probably be getting hunted down every day. I understand Charlamagne and God, like they say. G Herbo even spoke out against that. See, I understand you got people like Drake, Kanye, and Lil Baby who took this shit big. But you got to understand there was obstacles that got in the way of Chief Keith. He didn't have big time managers. He didn't have famous people on his team to help pull him up. This was just this guy making decisions on his own, him and the team that he got with himself. So when Charlamagne and God say he don't really see Chief Keep that impactful globally, I mean, I understand that as far as merchandising and shit like that, but if you look above that and give it the ad test, you can clearly sell Chief Keep put a lot a stamp in the culture, in my opinion. That's why I want to ask y'all, do you agree with Charlamagne and God, or do you agree with me on this one? I'll let her know what you think. It's the homie truth. Blah, blah.